That right there, my friends, is the power wire from the alternator, I believe, to uh, the starter. <laughs> uh, I reached up in there just to see what was going on because I looked at this ground and I seen there was some corrosion and stuff up in there. So I was like, let me check the starter wires. And that one fell right off. I barely even touched it. So I need to get the battery disconnected because I think that's a power wire. And then uh, we're gonna have to fix this issue. This might be our starting problem. Again, kids, this time with the battery disconnected. <laughs> Now there's some ground terminals I'm going to clean up down here. My crank sensor's still not here, but we need to move on to the paint. Oh, why? Why you do this? Well, here I am sitting uh, hours later after trying to diagnose again. Mm, got nowhere. I got it to a point where it didn't want to run, period. And now it's wanting to run again. I, I don't know. I cleaned up all the grounds. All the ones that I knew about anyways. And then I even added a ground right at the plug for the coils. And it didn't change anything. So. I really hope it's the crank sensor. Because then I'll just be like, well that was worth spending all that time trying to diagnose something else. So. It didn't, because of bad weather, it didn't come in yet, so hopefully it comes in tomorrow, but we need to paint some parts, so I need to set up my paint booth. <laughs> Alright, so I'm halfway set up with my paint booth. Uh, my supercharger rebuild kit is here. It's from Boost Tech. There's oil, all the bearings, all the seals in here. Uh, it was supposed to come with a new coupler, a nylon coupler, which is, uh, you know, what drives the outer pulley what drives the inner it's what locks them together and um, I don't know what they're originally made out of but I know that they they wear out and the nylon one is like an upgrade did not come with the kit it was supposed to so I've messaged them twice on eBay and uh, to my surprise they have not returned my message so I'm gonna have to get a hold of eBay here soon uh, I don't want to send this back but just give me a refund on that coupler. I'll buy another one. But that's going to be the next video. So if you see me doing it and not replacing that coupler, it's because I don't have it. And I don't think there's a problem with the one that's in it. But I would have liked to have done that while I had it apart. But oh well. <laughs>
All right, so I did basically the same setup, kind of, that I did whenever I plastic dipped the Subaru. That way to keep the gases out of the house, the, the vapors and stuff like that, and to protect my Z and everything on that side of the garage. Um, so I need to wipe that down. I'm painting that on here. But I need to wipe it down, we need to scuff it, and then I'm using uh, the sealer primer, the adhesive primer, I guess that's what it is, uh, that I used on the Malibu bumper. But this is black, so it's not gonna mess with the color of this since it's gonna be black. Um, I'll have to, this is already ready to spray, you just put it in the gun and spray it. I'm using one of Harbor Freight's newer guns. We're gonna see how that works. It's one step up from the purple one. Uh, the purple ones are what I've been using the primer with, and they work fine. But I just wanted to try this, so I forget what that price was. 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, filter, regulator, I need to change the, the desk and, and my air compressor. I'm going to have to do that a couple times, probably. Actually, no, I'm not spraying that much, so I might not have to do that that much. But I do have to drain the compressor, because I haven't done that yet. Um, I need to clean and scuff that. I need to clean and scuff the bumper. Um, this is primed. This is a black primer that comes on these, so uh, all I got to do is wipe this all down and then scuff this. I'm going to use, um, I normally use 400. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a step up from that. I think I have some 600, and I'm going to scuff this with 600 because uh, this primer is actually really light on these, and I don't want to go through it. So um, Another thing I could do is use a coat of that adhesive primer just to have a tack coat, but I, I'm just, I, I'm going to do as minimal as possible. We already have way too much into this. <laughs> so... Um, uh, basically, if if I do do anything with this, I'm gonna break even. So, and I still have diagnostic stuff to do to fix the starter problem that's going on, and it's just it's just a nightmare. Hot overhead, and I guess. Love to watch the way you made me into a mess Hands on my dress Neon red You were everything I didn't need until you left Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger Parts have been wiped down two times. I scuffed the uh, valence here with uh, or the ground effects with 400 grit to get a good, you know, uh, mechanical bond with that with the adhesive primer and stuff. So we're going to shoot that first, and then once it is, uh, you know, tacky and ready to spray over top of, then we're just going to go ahead with base coat, and we're going to do the bumper and it. We're going to do three coats on each with base coat, and then I have clear coat there. Uh, we'll spray over top of that. i got a plenty warm in here. I should probably warm it up just a little bit more. I don't know, but I'll turn the heat up, 
and uh, I need to switch clothes and yeah less baggier clothes I got baggy clothes on I, I want to do it with less baggy clothes on let me get my airline out spray the floor down with water I got a sprayer out over here I got to put some water in that so let me get all of this stuff ready and get to the point where it's time to spray and uh, in between different coats like between the primer the paint and the clear coat to give it time to you know set in between I'm gonna clean the guns because you should clean your gun right after you're done with it so that's what we're gonna do we don't need much of that adhesive primer so that's good because I only got one can and it doesn't go a long way I did two bumpers on the Malibu and it still wasn't quite enough so we should have enough to do that since it's just this ground effects piece and then we'll get on to the paint Coat. I'm not doing any more coats on the 
uh, ground effects because it looks decent. This I have a couple areas and it's a little rough and I only have so much clear coat left so I'm hoping to take care of those areas. All right, GoPro. All right, GoPro. All right, no more GoPro footage. So I had, I let this dry for a long time. I'm having problems with it drying because it, the temperature's not holding in here. I'm getting my furnace hooked up next week, should, which should fix that issue. I'm gonna do the best I can, last coat. Hopefully get rid of those rough areas. I'm having problems with it gassing off. It's, it's coming through, leaving little bubbles. So let's see what happens. So I just spent the last half an hour redoing the wiring for the headlights. Thus why I have the original or the the other cobalt wiring harness here. I I put it on there and I started it up and that headlight was dim and the, the little side markers on the sides there, both sides weren't working. So I got in there and I started looking at the harness and this harness I unplugged and the lights didn't go out. Okay. So here it is, here's the light harness. Look at all of this splicing here. And uh, here is the original plug. Why, why did we jump from there to there? All the pins are extremely corroded and a couple of them are missing because they're stuck in this plug. So, I redid the wiring the best that I could. I used my all these that I, I just spilled on the floor. Yes, there's a solder or shrink tubing. They're waterproof. I used that. I redid the wiring on this side. Then I couldn't get that marker to work. So I had to cut this connector off because it was burnt and corroded and put another connector on. So I cut that. It was still good on that harness. So I cut it off of that one, put it on there, and now we're all good. The connector on this side is actually in really good shape. This one looks really good. Now the one that was on this harness was actually really nice and not corroded at all. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm doing away with crap one by one, but that also uh, makes me believe that we still have, we still have the starter issue where it doesn't want to start every time. I'm starting to think it, it's something to do with the grounds, although I did, Re, I, I wired a ground in directly to the wire that goes to the coils, like right, I mean, not even at the plug. I did it right by the coils, 
wire to ground into the ground for the coils and uh, it still did not change my starting issue. So I'm, it still keeps me on the fence about the crank sensor and it should be in. This is two days late now that it was supposed to be in. So I guess we'll go and see, but how about that paint job? Uh, it's not perfect. I'm not like 100% satisfied with this. I've done better but it does look really good. Now, I didn't get three coats of paint on there because half a pint wasn't enough. So, there's only two coats of black on there, but it was black primer underneath, so it did get good coverage. And I did get three coats of clear on, and I ran out of clear. But I still got some uh, some orange peel, if you look at it over here, not get up close. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. There's some more peel in a couple places. Yes, you can wet sand and buff it and whatever. I'm not putting any more effort into this thing. I got a lot of other things to worry about and I want to get this thing out of here. So I still got to do the backup camera. I need to figure out the starter issue, which it might be going to somebody. Honestly, I found a YouTuber that is very close to me. It has like 97,000 subscribers. He's like 40 minutes from me. And uh, I commented on one of his videos and he actually replies and stuff. And he is a very good mechanic when it comes to elect electrical stuff, and I'm not. That's my weakness. So if I can't figure it out here after long, I do have a buddy I can take it to. But I thought about maybe contacting him to see if he could diagnose it for me. Pretty good. He's, I mean, actually, he's really good. It's uh, Pine Hollow Automotive. Uh, it's on this side of State College, so you know, like it's he's pretty close to me. But I came out, and this thing fired up the first time I cranked it and I shut it down to do the rewiring and it took me three more tries to get it to crank up again so just letting it run it's not near as smoky now because I I let it warm up the last time it started it ran and I let it get nice and warm plus I got new plugs in and right now I'm doing the same thing it does still smell rich but there's so much in the exhaust I just I can't get it to burn off because there's been so many times I've tried to crank it and you know I messed with the clutch switch. I actually have the clutch switch out right now. I got to put it back in, but I just have a five amp fuse pushed in where the clutch switch goes. So I don't have to push the clutch in because I was thinking maybe we had to do something with that. That has nothing to do with it. I, I just, I don't know, but I think we're up to temperature now. Yes, 178. So we're up to good temperature. Headlights are nice and bright now. The fog lights work, everything works. Uh, I am gonna take the front bumper off because the next video I got the supercharger rebuild kit. We're gonna be rebuilding the supercharger That's really the last major thing that I have to do on this. So uh, Stay tuned for that. But on that note It's gonna be the end of this episode so if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you're not already. If you are subscribed, make sure that the bell is checked because sometimes YouTube likes to uncheck that. That way you get notifications and you know when I upload, even though it's the same time every week. But the sooner I get this monstrosity all fixed up and done, the sooner I can get on this and get this thing finished. And it's just bugging me. I just want to get it done now. Go ahead and dislike this video if your mom's plug's corroded. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrapped. What are we doing? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you bite me? What are you doing?